This week, we culminate a very special month, the month of October, which is given to devotion to Mary in a very special way. And then on Friday, November 1st, we celebrate the feast of all the saints. While allowing the children and grandchildren to have their fun, be sure and tell them the true meaning of All Hallows' Eve, the saint. My topic today is linking the two, Mary, the queen of all the saints. In my two parishes in Baltimore, we're most likely to sing the lively hymn, When the Saints Go Marching In. And it continues, Oh, I want to be in that number. We all want to be with the saints in heaven. And you know, we are. Today's first reading, St. Paul the Apostle tells us, you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. And to quote another Apostle John in his letter, he says, you are God's children now. What you shall be has not yet come to light. We are members of the saints and Mary is our queen. In my annual summer retreat, I thought I would ask the Lord to guide me each and every day to put into my mind and in my heart the thoughts that I should reflect upon, the prayers that I should pray. I woke up the first morning with a song on my mind. I had not heard it in 60 years. A song about Mary from my youth in my church in New York. Perhaps you also heard it and sang it. Uh, if you did not, you're going to have to listen to me at least for one verse. It's called, Mother Dear, Oh Pray For Me. Have you heard that? Mother Dear, Oh Pray For Me. We'll give it a try. Sing it with me. Mother dear, oh pray for me. Whilst far from heaven and thee, I wander in a fragile bark o'er life's tempestuous sea. O Virgin Mother, from thy throne so bright and bliss above, protect thy child and cheer his path with thy sweet smile of love. Very good. Thank you for joining me. I knew that the Lord wanted to, me to begin my retreat with Mary. The first day with Mary. Mary was to be in my court as I was making this spiritual journey. And I considered her my mother. Uh, she loves me. Uh, she cares especially for her priests to continue the mission of her son, Jesus. She prays for me, she intercedes for me. It was most fitting to begin this first day with Mary. And then you know the song says, O Virgin Mother, from thy throne, so bright and bliss above. She is not only mother, she is queen. 
in the court of her son, Christ the King. And I thought, I should be in her court, not for her to be in my court. My court means that, you know, I'm focusing on myself and my plans, and I want her and her son to bless me in my court. But I needed to be in her court, in the court of her son, to be in touch with his plans and her plans for me in my life. She is the queen as well as the mother. When I ended my retreat, it was time for vacation. I entered vacation as the Holy Father, Pope Francis, was arriving in Brazil for World Youth Day. I'm not a person who likes the sun, the sunshine. So watching the television, EWTN TV, almost for a week, all the services, I was very, very happy to be spending that time of my vocation watching those ceremonies. It struck me, even from the very first, how often Mary was carried in procession, either a banner or a statue, often with Christ with her. And she was placed in a special area of the sanctuary, and the Pope would pause and honor her for a little while. And he would even kiss her, if you were watching with me. He would kiss Mary, and he would refer to her often. Of course, many of the, po of the Pope's messages were about our service of the poor. So often, these two areas go together, our devotion to Mary and our service of the poor. She is an example of reaching out and loving service to all God's people, especially those who are hurting. Around the world, for World Youth Day, there were Vincentian Marian youth. That's whom they are called. They came from all areas of the world to Brazil. They came a few days before the Holy Father arrived. They came to encourage each other in their devotion to Mary and in their service of the poor. One group left from here, from this very shrine. We thank God that we do come together to the shrine every Monday morning. We honor Mary as our mother and also as our queen. We certainly sing the song, Hail Holy Queen, enthroned above. Hail Queen of mercy and of love. When we pray the rosary, uh, we have a mystery, the last of the glorious, probably the last of the rosary, called the crowning of Mary as queen of heaven and earth. And shortly after the rosary, we say, Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, for banished children of Eve. She is our mother, she is our queen. As in the rosary, the uh, church's liturgical year has the feast of the queenship of Mary following the feast of her glorious assumption. The queenship of Mary is August 22nd, a week after August 15th. I'd like to read very briefly three prayers from the Queenship of Mary. One is actually an invocation or an invitation. One is a prayer and one is an intercession that would be heard at Mass. The invocation, 
Come, let us worship Christ, who crowned his mother as queen of heaven and earth. In the prayer, Lord of heaven and earth, you crowned Mary and set her at your right hand as queen. Make us worthy to share his glory. In the intercession prayer, you crowned Mary, queen of heaven. May all the deceased rejoice in your kingdom with the saints forever. Mary is queen of all the saints. In the book of Revelation, we see the lovely, glorious lady clothed with the sun, standing upon the moon. In one sense, she is queen of heaven and earth. We see her crowned with the 12 stars they indicate the apostles. Their light goes out to all the world. The light of faith from the apostles. Mary is the mother of the church. She was with the apostles when the Holy Spirit came down. And it's from those apostles who went out to the ends of the earth that we have received the faith. In those 12 stars, Behold yourselves in the light of those 12 stars. We are fellow citizens with the saints, including Simon and Jude and the others. Mary is our mother. Mary is our queen, the queen of all the saints. <laughs> 